I'm so fed up with all these Chinese helper services like that all have friend in the name. Uh, like CN Helper, My Panyo, uh, My Homie, Expat Friend, whatever. They all call themselves your friend before they even know you. And, uh, you know, I, I've been in China a long time and my experience with people who call themselves my friend right away is not very good. For example, I used to uh, do business with some Xinjiang folks. They always say, oh, panyo, 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 right when they meet you. And you know that they're absolutely not your friend in any way. <laughs> and uh, let, let's talk about a CN helper for a second, China helper. Okay, I followed their WeChat official account and immediately they threatened to put me on a blacklist. They said, if you don't share this on your WeChat moments, you're gonna be on a blacklist, on our blacklist right away. And you know, I'd received complaints about them before, so before they were worse, now they've toned it down a bit. They say, oh, we'll put you, we'll put you on our white list. <laughs> anyway, I didn't do anything. And you know, the 24 hours came there, they posted a message like, uh, oh, you know, well, just do it and you'll get on our wait list. Yeah, because <laughs> they still want to make money off you. They don't, they're not helping you. <laughs> well, I don't know. They're apparently pretty popular, so maybe they are providing some help. But uh, <laughs> the first thing they do is threaten you as soon as you follow their account. You know, do this right away or you're out. And uh, yeah, I clicked on one of their pages. It's like, if we have not helped you, you have not offered us enough money yet. Oh, thank you, my friend, CN Helper. <laughs> and let's just do a quick round about my homie, too. My homie's based here in Hangzhou, and I had the pleasure of meeting some of them at a local networking event. I think uh, some of their leadership. And, you know, I talked to them. I said, hey, I run expat rights, and, uh, you know, maybe we can work together and uh, help out expats in a real way. And... You know, they said, okay, that sounds really good. And, you know, we had a nice talk. And then I said, uh, you know, I'd really like if Hangzhou, really like if you could use your government connections and your pressure to uh, make Hangzhou hotels accept foreign people. First thing my homie says to me is, you know, that, that's a national level policy. That's not a Hangzhou level policy. I said, uh, he's like, yeah, it's, it's national level. I'm like, well, you know, I've done my research. I've been to the entry exit bureau and uh, got nowhere with that, of course. And, uh, you know, I kept following up with them and they just had absolutely had no interest. So uh, to, all, to all those foreigners out there who, <laughs> who fall for people who call themselves your friend right away. Hi, friends. Please like and share. Uh, thank you. This is Kyle from Expat Rates.